Hi everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own acne fighting stickers using blister bandages. Imagine you have a blister for a second, you buy the bandage, you put it on top of your blister, and what that's going to do is it's going to seal in the moisture, which is going to promote faster healing because it's also going to absorb all the fluid from your blister. I know it's gross, it's the only thing I'm going to say that's gross. <laughs> These two things are going to help speed up the process of your blister healing. You know, it'll help reduce inflammation, redness, and pain, but also help prevent your blister from getting irritated and red and swollen because of accidental like scratches against the surface or something like that you know it's a barrier between your blister and the outside world so that all sounds great obviously like yes I would like that for my blister but you would also probably like that for your pimple right like can you imagine so you're gonna need a hole puncher and all you're gonna do is start punching holes through the bandage while it's still in its packaging So they do make acne fighting stickers. This is just a DIY version. You can get way more stickers for your buck if you decide to make your own. The acne stickers that we all buy that are already made for us are hydrocolloid stickers. So are the bandages for blisters. Keep in mind that when you do want to put them on, there's two layers. So this is the bandage without the sterile packaging on the outside. You also have to get this off before you get to the sticky part. So remove the two layers and then Boom. Don't wear makeup beneath them, obviously. Out of like one bandage, you can get around 10 acne fighting stickers, like little tiny circles. If you do the whole box of six, that would be 60. Obviously, you can do the math, right? I will link hydrocolloid bandages in my description box below that you can get like right from Amazon or just snap photos of and just go to your drugstore and see if they have one or the other. I'll also link like different hole punchers with different sizes if I can. So once you have all your stickers, you can just store them somewhere. You can put them right back in the box if you'd like. Do whatever it is that you want so that you don't lose them so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one